Hello staff members, my name is Natalie White and I'll be serving as SCA president for the upcoming school year. I'm so excited for this fall semester and cannot wait to get back in the classroom. I would like to open with a moment of prayer, so please bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for the opportunities granted to us during these uncertain times. We are thankful to be together and to have the ability to further the education in these students' lives. We ask you to guide our teachers and students to equip them with peaceful minds and spirits this fall. Give us perseverance and positive attitudes. This school year may not be what we expected, but we understand that it will be as great as we make it. Allow us to apply new creative solutions to any challenges we may face. Help us to support one, other, one another to form a community between all students and teachers during this time, and help us to understand that no one has to endure this period alone. Heal those who are sick and grant peace to their families during this difficult time. Protect us as we return to the classroom and be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you. Hello to AHS teachers and staff. I would like to welcome you to another school year. And I'd like to thank you for risking yourself and your health and your safety for educating us and bringing us through another school year. Even though the school year won't be the same, it's what we're all used to. That's what makes Athens so great. You know, no matter what, we're always here for each other. We're always going to work for each other, and we're always going to be one Athens. Thank you. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. I'm Mayor Ronnie March, and I'm honored to welcome the teachers, the staff, and the students back to school. 2020 has been a very unusual year, and each of you have worked hard to make the best of it. I know you're preparing for what you, this new school year and what it will look like, and its changes as we all adapt to the evolving health order and the regulations. I am confident that you will provide a positive learning experience in the classroom and online. I feel sure that we will have a fun year. I know that all of you are eager to get back to the classroom and on behalf of the mayor's office and the city of Athens, I want to send you well wishes for a fantastic year. Just remember, some of these students have not had much structure during the past few months. Oh, y'all just do the best you can do. everybody welcome back to school this has been a long time coming and I know you're all so ready to get back to doing what you love as a matter of fact I've heard from several of you who have said please get schools open we need our kids and they need us so y'all we're going to give it our very best shot this year is going to look very different already you've taken out your flexible seating and your tables where we love to see kids all gathered together collaborating and creating and you've put in desks in straight rows, six feet apart. This is not how we love for our classrooms to look, but it's going to be fine because it's important for our safety and our health. And this year we'll be wearing masks, all of us. When we can't remain six feet apart, we will all be wearing masks. And we're asking parents to trust us as they drop off their children that we'll get them where they need to go because we can't have parents in our hallways and our classrooms. And we hate this. 
but it will be okay because it's important for our safety and our health. Our custodians and our bus drivers will be sanitizing and cleaning and disinfecting like nothing you've ever seen. And teachers, some of that cleaning is gonna to fall to you and to your students because we'll be eating in classrooms, which is unusual for us. And there will be cleaning involved with that and we'll need to clean high touch areas, but it's important for our safety and our health. And our school nurses, they're expected to be superheroes and we all know they are, but this year they're really going to need to feel the love. All of this is going to feel very unusual for us but I believe it's the perfect opportunity for us to model the characteristics that we say collectively as a school system and a community are important to us. As we think about our portrait of a graduate, we honor quality character. All of the steps we are taking are for safety and health. We have to nurture our physical and mental well-being, and we are experiencing the ultimate opportunity to model perseverance in the face of challenges. We honor creative thinking. This will be the year for creativity and flexibility in thinking for traditional and remote teachers. I know you're already working to find creative ways to engage and challenge students. We honor communication. Never has communication been more important than it is this year. We've worked so hard on culture within our schools, so continuing to meet through Zoom or some online format is going to be crucial. And a top priority in those first few days of school will involve building relationships with students and families. School family communication will be critical, so we all have to do our best to get every family connected. We know that equity is not the same as equality. There are students who will thrive with temporary online learning because they'll have all the support they need at home. And then there are others that we are already very worried about. Those students absolutely will need more communication. You may have students who will need for multiple people to follow up with them. Whatever it takes, this is what we do. We educate every child and make sure every student feels a sense of belonging, no matter how that has to look. We honor collaboration, and this will look different. We won't be huddled together solving problems, nor will our students, but we will still be collaborating to be critical thinkers. It has never been more important to involve students in real-world situations to give them opportunities to make connections and to solve problems. And we honor global citizenship. Wow, what opportunities we have for this. The topics we can examine from multiple perspectives are endless. COVID-19, racial disparities. Our students have been bombarded with so many issues just since we've been out of school. We have the privilege to demonstrate empathy, compassion, and respect for others. And it's not just a privilege, it's a moral obligation. As educators, we represent every student, no matter how they look, what they believe, or their backgrounds. Some of you may not know, but Athens City Schools has been on a journey to learn more and become a more equitable school system since 2014. Our administrators began to see that many issues we were facing across the district were related to issues of inequity. Our district leadership team began to read and network with others in search of support. We took what we were learning and added initiatives to break down barriers for students and to create equitable and engaging learning environments for all. We started with Power Up, then transformed our elementary schools to academies. We utilized OER and unit planning and implemented AVID and PBL initiatives. And we asked you, our teachers, to make paradigm shifts for kids, and you did just that. We continued to reflect on ways to improve. Two years ago, we participated in a study of poverty that led us to dig deeper into the more difficult topics of unconscious bias, race and microaggressions, privilege, and empathy. We are proud that this work is making its way into our schools and professional learning sessions, and this dialogue will continue as we strive to be a culturally proficient school district. These are hard conversations, but well worth it. 
Community member Stacy Benford, who is a member of our district equity team, has a special message for you. So kick back and enjoy her ideas for fostering a welcoming environment for all students. Stacy talking. Take eight million five hundred seventy-four thousand three hundred and fifty-four. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to the 2020-2021 school year. That's a lot of 20s. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Stacey Benford and I was a teacher at Athens High School for three years. I have 14 years of teaching experience and I am so excited to be able to come to you guys today. One of the things that I was known for in the classroom was the relationships that I was able to build with my students. I was able to build those relationships because I fostered a welcoming environment in my classroom for all students, no matter what they look like, what their sexual preference was, or their religious preference. Central Office asked me to do a really quick video to give you guys three tips on how to create a welcoming environment in your classrooms for students coming back this fall. Now let's be honest, this is probably the first time in history we've ever been in a situation similar to the one that we're in now. Between COVID-19 and the racial disparities that we're experiencing in our society, your students might be coming to you with completely different issues than they had when they were with you last year. It is very important that we are sensitive to our students' needs, empathetic to their feelings, and compassionate to their experiences. With that said, there's three different things that you can do in your classrooms to be able to create that type of environment. Number one. Number one, be willing to listen. I know this one sounds pretty easy because that's what we do. We're teachers, right? We're teachers, right? Teachers, right? A lot of times what I've noticed is teachers are listening and preparing to respond all at the same time. And to me, that's not what an active listener does. An active listener actually hangs on to the words that the speaker is saying. You also need to take the time to listen to what is not being said. Is that student showing that they're closed off to you, that they trust you, that they really are opening themselves up to what you may or may not have to say? A lot of times students are gonna come to your class and from the very beginning, they're just not gonna trust you because they've lived lives where they've learned to not trust people they don't know or to not trust people who don't look like them. It is your responsibility to show them that you are safe. It is your responsibility to show them that the classroom is a safe place for them to be themselves and to express themselves in a respectful way. And it is your responsibility to lead by example. The second thing that you can do is be relatable. I know. It's tough to be relatable when you're a teacher because that line between professional and personal can often get a little blurry. But there is a way that you can be approachable, that you can show them that you might have gone through some similar things that they've gone through and give a platform where they can see you as a human being, not just a teacher. A lot of times students see us as here and they envision themselves in comparison here on a human level, and that's not the case. On a human level, we are here. Now, professionally, we do have a position that requires us to be more responsible than them. It requires us to give them information. It requires us to be positioned above them as far as the hierarchy of order. However, from a human being perspective, you are here. And we need to always keep that in mind. That's a human being in front of you. That is a student who has every right to feel how they feel. And they don't always know how to express that in the most respectable way. Being relatable gives the students a door to you. And that is what is going to keep them connected to you. When you're trying to give them information, they'll be more receptive. When you're trying to give them advice, they'll be more willing to accept it. And later on in life, when they leave the school and go out into the world, they're more likely to come back and get in contact with you and let you know how they're doing. So open up just a little bit and show them who you are. The last point, and this is probably the most important, is as these students are opening up to you and they're telling you how they feel about things, keep in mind that it's not about you, okay? How they feel is how they feel and it is legitimate. Your students of color may be seeing traumatizing things on social media and on TV almost on a daily basis. That can change a person. When they come to your classroom, 
that's what they're going to be considering. They're not going to be considering your position. They're not going to be considering your thoughts and feelings. And honestly, although you are entitled to both, it's not about you. It's about them. It is okay to have conversations with your students about hard things. Create a safe, open and receptive place where respectable rules are put into place for them to sit inside of and have these conversations. You will find that by doing so, your students will not only become closer to each other, but they will become closer to you. I have a gift for you guys. I reached out to several of my students that I've taught over the course of three years at Athens High School. And each and every one of them sent me a video message for you. Enjoy. I belong. 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 Hi, I'm Laura Smith, lead nurse for Athens City Schools and also nurse at Heart Academy at Julian Newman. I want to welcome each one of you back this year as we begin this fun and exciting school year. Today, we're going to take a little journey. We're going to board flight 2020. I want to encourage each one of you to buckle up. There may be some turbulence along the ride, but rest assured in knowing that we are all on the same flight led by a great leader and we will lean on each other together to get through this flight. Okay, I just wanted to show you a few things real quick. As any good stewardess would show you how to wear a mask. You will be getting some from the State Department of Education coming soon. Please put them over your ears, over your, have them over your nose and over your mouth. This will help us in keeping everyone safe and well while at school. I wanna encourage you to stay six feet apart when possible, when not possible. That's why we wear our masks. Teachers, I need some volunteers this year. We need you, our school nurses need you to help us in educating our students on proper hand washing, properly how to wear a mask, how to social distance and how to have fun. I just wanted to encourage you this year that we are here to support you. Your nurses are being updated daily with CDC guidelines and recommendations, with the Department of Health and Department of Education guidelines and recommendations as well. Teachers and staff, please sit back and enjoy the ride. Have a great year. Hello, I'm Marcia Day representing the Athens City Schools Foundation Board. Our board is comprised of members who serve as volunteers. Because we have few administrative costs associated with the foundation, we are able to directly send all of our donations to teachers and students. Because of coronavirus this year, we decided to delay the grant applications process. We had hoped that we could reschedule our spring fundraiser to the fall to bring additional revenue resources to the foundation to increase our grants. That did not happen as we had hoped. Therefore, we face uncertainty too. As soon as we have revenue restored, we will open the grant process. Because the foundation is funded through the generosity of individuals within our community, 
we have reached out to those of you in the school system to encourage your donations to fund the many programs that we support. The violin program for every third grader enrolled in Athens City Schools, the Teacher of the Year recognition program for our outstanding teachers, and the classroom grants, to name a few. We hope that you will donate to the Foundation in one of three ways, either through payroll deduction, through Athens Utilities, if you live in an area served by Athens Utilities, or consider a one-time annual donation. To reward your, your participation in this process, we are collecting the names of donors in the system and will be drawing for gift cards to local businesses. I sincerely hope that you've had a restful and relaxing summer. I wish you well as you begin to navigate uncharted waters with the beginning of this school year. 2020 has certainly pr produced challenges for all of us, but especially for those of you who teach. You have my gratitude for the difference you make every day in the lives of the young people in our community. If nothing else, perhaps the parents of those children who were involved in e-learning in the spring have developed a new sense of appreciation and respect for those of you who teach. Thank you and I hope you have a wonderful school year. Why should you join the Alabama Education Association? Because AEA values its members. We are member governed and member centered. Alabama's teachers, support staff, and administrators are superheroes and should be treated as such. That's why AEA has been serving as their professional organization for more than 120 years. To learn more, visit myaea.org. Once you're a member, enter the portal to explore many of the ways AEA is here to serve you professional learning, publications, member discounts, and even legal services. Are you ready to learn more? With the Million Dollar Liability Insurance Program, members receive an attorney with paid legal fees and civil proceedings brought against them as an educator. And with further legal assistance, members always have access to attorneys who are experts in education law. All of this is because AEA is an advocate for its members. We are the voice for education in Alabama, and we have a seat at the table when decisions impacting you are made. We care about those decisions and other on-the-job issues and concerns. That's why we assist members with grievances, employment problems, salary negotiations, and training. AEA members gain access to more professional learning where you can earn CEUs and PLUs and access helpful resources for your profession. Our members also save money with access discounts for local and national merchants, discount vision programs, and so much more. AEA is there for you every step of the way. Contact your local director to become a member of the AEA family today. Hi. My name is Paige Hicks, and on behalf of Athens City Educators, I'd like to welcome you back to school for the 2020-2021 school year. Our officers for this year will be Amanda Goodmanson, Vice President. She teaches at Athens Renaissance School. Laura Malone will serve as Secretary. She teaches at Athens High School. And Emily Dawes will be Treasurer, and she teaches at Athens Middle School. The four of us work closely with LaKiska Jamar, our UNISERV Director. We have created a Remind to communicate with members this year. To join the Remind, you can check our social media. We have a Facebook page. If you just search Athens City Educators, you should find it. We also have a Twitter account. It is at Athens City Ed, and we've posted instructions to join the Remind on both of those. We will also email instructions to your school email sometime in the next few days. You may also know we use our Twitter account to live tweet the board meetings. We do plan to continue that this school year. 
The officers met several times over the summer via Zoom. We have not finalized our meeting dates or locations yet, but as soon as we do, those will go out on our Remind account, so please be sure you join in the next week or so. You know that we try to take the dues that you pay in and have those go back out to the members the best we can. We've continued our scholarship program. We have two scholarships that go out to graduating seniors. The Great Expectations Scholarship is in the amount of $1,000, and we have recently endowed the Future Educator Scholarship and granted it to our first senior this past year. We did continue those, as well as our Student Emergency Needs Account that has previously been run by Mrs. Patton, who is now our Acting Superintendent. We are excited to work with Mrs. Patton. We've had several meetings with her already, both in person and via Zoom, and we're confident that she will work with ACE to the best of her ability. She is a member of ACE, and we're excited to have her as Acting Superintendent. Since we are in a pandemic, we have tried to use AEA's Safe Schools guidelines to guide our school reopening. We're confident Mrs. Patton has reviewed all of those documents. However, if you have any concerns at any time, you can contact one of the officers or the Uniserve Director, Ms. Jamar, and um, work out your concerns to the best of our abilities. If you need to join ACE, we are the local affiliate of AEA and NEA. Typically, we have a new member orientation where we get membership forms out, but we have gone paperless. So if you are a new educator, your AR or an officer should be contacting you soon to see if you'd like to join. However, you can send us an email and we will get you the digital forms just as quickly as we can. Again, officers are me, Paige Hicks, Athens High School, Amanda Goodmanson, Laura Malone, and Emily Dawes, and we are here at your service again for another year. We hope everything goes well. Have a great school year. See you soon. Bye-bye.
2020 school year. Hey I Academy, I'm Bree Higginbotham and I'm at Athens Elementary to thank all of our wonderful and hardworking staff for all that they do for our school. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed and we appreciate everything you do in our students' lives. We thank you not just today, but every day. Hi Julie Newman, I'm Caroline Chestnut. I'm just here to thank you for all the love and support you give your students every single day. I know we're going through a strange time right now, but your continued dedication to your students is appreciated now more than ever. You guys are the best. Thank you for all that you do. Hello, Brick Hill staff. I'm Alyssa Carlotta, and I'm here to thank every single one of you for all the time and effort that you pour into helping your students grow into wonderful, well-rounded people. As an elementary school, it's not only your responsibility to prepare your students for higher level schooling, but also to help shape the lives of these young children. I'm happy to say that Brick Hill Elementary does a fantastic job at performing both of these aspects. After attending your school, your students have a great foundation to receive all of the success and fame in life that they desire. Hello Spark Academy, I'm Natalie White. I want to let you know that your hard work and dedication is appreciated and I know you will accomplish amazing things this year. Every staff member makes a difference in a child's life. Your mentorship lights a spark that will last a lifetime. Thank you for all you do. Hello everyone. I'm Haley Weaver, and today we're here at AIS to show how incredibly grateful we are for all of your determination and perseverance. I'm sure that all of your students miss you and can't wait to be back in the classroom. Soar high, Eagles. The sky is the limit. Hello, Athens Readers Out staff. My name is Jessica, and I'm here today to let you all know that your hard work and perseverance during this time is not going unnoticed. We miss you all dearly and can't wait to see you when school returns. Hey Athens Middle School staff, I'm Chase Ryan and I'm here at AMS today to show appreciation for all of the staff here that have worked so hard in these unprecedented times. Whether it's in Zoom or the classroom, y'all are the bomb. Hello AHS staff, I'm Brevin Holt and I'm here to thank each and every one of you for everything that you do for us. From the early morning study halls to staying late in the evenings after school, you give up your time and energy for us to help ensure that we succeed. Even during these unprecedented times, you still make sure to check up on us and make sure that we're doing okay. We're so thankful for you and you've touched the lives of countless students. We're so excited to see you when we get back to school. It's a great day to be a Golden Eagle. Hello Athens City staff, I'm here today at Athens City School Stadium and we're super excited for the season. The football players and the coaches have been preparing really hard. We cannot wait to cheer on the football team, the band, and the cheerleaders. Go Eagles! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you.